The fifth Predator film is on its way, and the official title has been announced. Previously, there had been rumors the title was going to be Skulls, and by some reports, just Skull, singular. But the confusion has been cleared up once and for all. The working title is gone, and according to official releases on Disney Plus Day, the newest film in the Predator franchise will be titled Prey. These releases were joined with an official title logo, a promo image, and a synopsis to spark some interest, so happy Disney Plus Day to all those who observe. First things first, I like the title. I think it's a bold move to stray away from the instantly recognizable franchise title and go for something unique. The Predator series has always been especially uncreative with their titles for the last two sequels. For the third film, they just slapped an S at the end of Predator to make it the plural Predators, which I guess is fine and it worked out well enough for Aliens. But for the fourth film, they just added THE in front of Predator, making it THE Predator, which is just lazy titling 101. But Prey is a distinct enough title in the distinct enough text that's instantly recognizable to Predator fans that I think just may pay off. Although, I didn't mind Skulls as a potential title, and that maybe could be something they could keep in the back pocket for future franchise entries. It wouldn't be the first time, of course, that Prey had been worked into a title for a Predator-related story. The very first Aliens vs. Predator story, of course, became known as Aliens vs. Predator Prey, though this is unrelated, so don't expect Machiko Noguchi or anything like that. But by the sounds of it, the general plot may be along similar lines, with a headstrong female protagonist trying to outwit her extraterrestrial enemy. Here's the official synopsis. Set in the world of the Comanche Nation 300 years ago, the action thriller follows Naru, the skilled warrior who fiercely protects her tribe against a highly evolved alien predator. Some additional info from Variety states... The indigenous actor Amber Midthunder, Legion, plays Naru, who according to Disney wants to prove her worth as a warrior, and certainly gets her chance when she comes face to face with the most dangerous hunter of all, the otherworldly Predator. Sounds pretty cool to me. I know a lot of fans have been curious to see what a Predator movie would be like if set somewhere in the past. How such a setting would be able to present the Predator's hunting style, and how characters with less advanced weaponry would fight against it. This has been explored in extended universe stories, but never in the movies. All four Predator films, as well as the two Alien vs. Predator films, had settings in present day. Excluding, I guess, Predator 2, which released in 1990, took place in the far-off future of Los Angeles 1997. So that's an exciting prospect. I think the indigenous nation is a good angle. I think it has potential. I think we'll get something that will feel much more fresh than what was offered with the Shane Black movie, released in 2018, and I think it could open the door to other concepts, other time periods, other unique settings. Truly the possibilities are just about endless, so if this happens to rekindle interest in the Predator series, we could end up seeing much more in the future, and I'm all for that. It's directed by Dan Trachenberg, who previously directed Ten Cloverfield Lane, which was a very good and suspenseful movie that relied more on character interactions than wall-to-wall -wall special effects. But when it came time for the effects, they were used quite nicely, so I think he'll be a good fit. It's not clear at this time if Prey will end up releasing in theaters at all. These days we tend to see studios experimenting with simultaneous streaming and theatrical exhibitions. So it would be nice to get the chance to see a new Predator movie on the big screen, but so far, no word on that. What we do know is that it will be here quite soon. The release is set for this upcoming summer, 2022, and it will be streaming on Hulu in the United States and elsewhere it looks to be geared up for a Disney Plus Star streaming release. Filming is already complete, so it's likely in the editing room right now, and maybe soon we'll see a trailer to give us a better idea of what we're in for. So I'll be looking forward to that. For now though, I'm feeling hopeful, my interest has peaked, and I'll be ready for the hunt this summer. What do you think of the info we've seen so far? Do you like the title Prey, or would you have preferred the title Skulls instead? Are you generally looking forward to the new movie, or are your expectations low after the 2018 film? Comment below and share your thoughts. As always, thank you very much for watching today. I'll be following news as it becomes available, and hopefully we'll get a trailer soon, and hopefully we get some more info about the Alien TV series, so stay tuned for that in the meantime. Until then, happy Disney Plus Day, and this is Alien Theory, signing off.